In this video we'll show you how to add some slack to a groove joint to make it easier to assemble. I've got a basic cabinet set up here and also a 3D view zoomed in on one corner where we're going to apply the groove. Let's first select the top, go into the links menu and the link with the left side. We've got underpassing selected which you need for a groove and we've got groove selected. In type I'm going to put a 10mm groove in which actually shows up as a rebate. We also need to select the left side and its link with the top and add an overlap. Let's put in 30 millimeters. So now we've got a classic groove joint. To add the slack we go to libraries, sub methods and choose the groove and oversizing sub method. Inside here we've got a groove slack option. You'd normally choose a very small amount for the slack. I'm going to put in 10 millimeters just so we can see what the effect is and leave the position as centered apply that to the cabinet and you can see we've got five millimeters above and below the panel. Let's go back to libraries, sub methods, groove and oversizing. You can decide how you want your slack distributed as well. With the panel position as centered it's as shown. If we change that to inner and click OK all of the slack is applied above the panel as shown and with the outer option the panel will be here the slack will be at the bottom. I'm going to undo that now and show you one final option. Back into library sub methods groove and oversizing you can also add a depth slack. I'm going to add five millimeters and click OK and apply that to the cabinet and you can see here again we've got a nice way to add a small amount of slack to make assembly easier. Thanks very much for watching goodbye.